Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Today we're going to be talking about the pros on the defensive side of the ball in NBA 2K15 gameplay wise. Now, what I want to let you guys know is this is a video just about the pros. If you want to see the cons video, make sure you drop a like. Once we reach 1,000 likes, I will drop that video immediately. I'm just saying, immediately. So, um, what's next? Let's hop into the video. All right, guys, so the first pro on this list for the defensive side of the ball will have to be better spacing. Now, I know I said the same thing for offense, but as a defensive player, you want to be able to move around and get with the actual offensive player as he moves right, left, or even when he tries to go through you, and especially when he calls a pick and roll. So the spacing is so much better in 2K15 that as a defensive player, you kind of feel a whole lot better being on that side of the ball instead of just playing off-ball defense and trying to catch uh, steals out of midair all day. So it's better spacing, um, better ways, you know, to use that space. And definitely we could talk more about that later. Let's hop into the next topic. All right, so the next pro on this list will have to be the pick and roll. Now, I know what a lot of people are thinking. Why is a pick and roll a pro on the defensive side of the ball well let me tell you as a defensive player when a pick and roll happens in 2k14 you are just out of the play immediately as soon as the pick comes you get caught in the animation you're stuck you're like ooh, ooh, and it's nothing you can do well in nba 2k15 They've added new animations as well as better speed, I guess you can say, or better agility to the defensive player. And it goes with rating as well, you know, agility, speed, uh, on-ball defense, everything. But check it out. When somebody um, sets a pick on you, right, you don't need pick dodger to actually dodge the pick. They've added many animations to us where when a pick comes, you can actually wrap your arm around the offensive player that's setting the pick and get through the pick without having to run into a wall as well as when people try to do pick and roll cheese where you know they drive you into a pick and then go the other way you now have the ability to hit that pick and get right back on the offensive player so it's not like being stuck in the animation and you're like ah, i can't go nowhere ah man they got me they got me nope you're able to hit the pick and get right back with the defender. That's what the whole thing about either being able to get um, around, like through the pick or, you know, you take the pick under is, is your choice. Um, it's no more just running into the pick unless somebody has like, um, what is that, brick wall or something like that, you know, where they put you on your butt. But it's not like getting stuck in a crazy animation anymore. So on the defensive side of the ball, I know that will probably make a lot of people happy, especially the people that play on-ball defense like myself. Because uh, as soon as you get picked, you used, to, you used to go crazy. I used to like want to pull my hair out, like all this right here. I used to go crazy. But now I'm a little bit more happy with the way things are set up with the pick and roll on defense. But let's hop into the next topic. All right, the next pro on this list is going to have to be the AI. Yes, AI is better in 2K15. Um, I played a game against the Cleveland Cavaliers. Oh, boy. I thought I was going to get torched, but my defense actually held me down, man. Um, when you're playing defense, it's only you and four other AI players. And you would think, like, okay, I need this person to rotate here. When I call for a double team, I need this person to hurry up and get to where I'm at right now. And I will have to say that 2K has upgraded the AI in a way that it doesn't make it impossible for you to play defense. You know, usually um, when people play 5-on-5, five five, they kind of saw that, you know, I'm going to play off ball. I'm going to let the computer stick this person. If, if the computer gets torched, then I'll, you know, slide over and help now. You'll be able to guard that person and you don't have to worry about the computer just standing there and looking at things happen. Um, when a player uh, gets crossed, like say you you did get crossed and people do get crossed. Don't say you don't get crossed. Um, if you get crossed and you know a player is on the island, you think, oh man, he's about to hit this shot. 
the defense will actually rotate better. So, like, say, for instance, um, a player gets past you and the power forward is, like, right right near the paint. The power forward will actually step up and the center will kind of, like, shade um, the power forward that's in the paint and the center at the same time. Now, I'm not saying that this center will have, uh, in, like, crazy Super Saiyan speed, steal the ball if, if an offensive player tries to pass it to him, but he will be aware of the situation at hand. So, you know, when help defense needs to come, they will come. Um, as well as um, when you're calling for a double team, the the defensive player, the AI, they run like hell to that offensive player for you. So, if you're guarding somebody like Damian Lillard and you know, like, he about to go baseline on you, if you call for a double team, that person will literally full sprint to help out as on a double team. He's not just going to walk up with his hands like this and say, Oh, I'm coming in a zombie formation. Nah, he's going to, he's going to full sprint, get up on him, And then, you know, the double team is going to be called. That's why I said that that was somewhat of a con for the offensive player. But, uh, let's hop into the next topic. The next pro on this list will have to be point of emphasis, POE. Now, like I said on the offensive side of the ball, point of emphasis has been upgraded and it has been upgraded as well for the defense. So when you're calling like crash defensive boards, play physical, um, neutral, conservative, um, they have all different types of sets, different tempos and all of that. It's, it's a nice little upgraded feature. Um, I'm liking it so far. Uh, when I played... Of course, a lot of people know me for playing, what is it, crash defensive glass, play physical, and create chaos. Um, I think in 2K15, I was playing like um, neutral instead of like, you know, limit perimeter shots or um, like clog the paint or something like that. I think I played neutral so that my defense would play, you know, all different types of uh, defensive sets as well as... I definitely had play physical, so when the player got the ball, we were right there, all up in their grill, not playing, all up in their face. Um, and I think instead of uh, playing crash defensive glass, I think I had it on, I think, what was it? Uh, something, I think like limit the fast break or something like that. Like I was just trying to make sure that the team didn't run on me, you know, because my, my team is kind of booty, but, uh, yeah, um, POE is definitely upgraded this year. So, you know, you're probably going to have a lot of fun with that, but let's hop into the next topic. I think you'll like it. All right. So the next topic at hand, the next thing on this list, defensive sets, for players oh god we've been waiting for this to come back so long so now you can call whatever defensive set you want for each player if your point guard is one of those point guards that get to the basket guess what you can play deny ball or play tight if your shooting guard is one of those players that doesn't have a great three-point shot you can sag off if your small forward is one of those players where if he get in the paint and is money every time he gets in the post, you can double team when he's in the post. If your power forward is one of those power forwards that's just not too good, you can sag off as well or play moderate. Um, if your center is one of those centers that just constantly is just a beast in the paint, you're definitely going to want to call double teams immediately. <laughs> So, if you want to call defensive sets for each player, point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward, center, it can be done in NBA 2K15. Now, this is not a new feature. This is a feature that is returning. So, I don't want everybody like, oh, they already had that about time. It's returning. It's, it's back. Are you happy? Let's hop into the next topic. All right, the last pro on this list is probably the biggest pro of all. I know a lot of people probably was waiting for me to talk about this. Let's talk about rebounding, man. Seriously, let's let's talk about it. Let me let me talk about it real quick. Uh, so you guys want to know about the volleyball cheese and um, the animation cheese and 
the OP offensive CPU and all of this jazz. Well, let's talk about one by one. Volleyball is still in the game. I will admit it. It's still in the game, and this is why. If you don't box out, guess what's going to happen? Three or four people are going to be jumping for one basketball. What happens when three or four people jump for one basketball when you're really playing basketball? Okay, thank you. That 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 answered it, right? Okay, cool. So um, you're definitely going to want to be boxing out on defense or even on offense. If you could box out on offense, in which I think it will be a little bit harder because your back – um, actually will be to the basket and the defensive player will be a little have a little bit uh, deeper position but you know if you're one of those people that play I guess my career or something like that in your offense you definitely could probably get that position but as being an offensive player you know when you're playing 5v5 you're usually controlling somebody else and you know by the time you click the other person when you shoot he'll already be out of position so uh, boxing out is definitely key um, let's talk about those animations. Everybody remembers the animations where, like, your player put his hand out, he'll lean back and, like, think he has the basketball, but somebody just jump and take it. That animation is gone. So, you know, um, you kind of have a better control sense of your player. So when you're uh, trying to grab a rebound, if you press triangle, he's going to jump. He's not going to just do a random animation like, oh, I'm standing here. And it's four other people around me, and the ball is just magically going to fall in my hands. He doesn't do that anymore. As well as, um, a lot of people remember the animation where he puts his arm, like he extends his arm all the way out. And, you know, and the, the ball is supposed to magically drop right there as well. That animation has been taken out. So, those whole, whole based animations of rebounds, uh, 2K just was like, nah, they're not working. So, you know, they've added other things, other elements, you know, for you to get rebounds. Uh, and people actually, they jump a little higher now. Um, I noticed that, you know, you can like kind of pull a basketball down like above the cylinder now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like if it's coming off and it's high, like some people that have better verts than others, they can kind of get up there, you know. And um, a lot of people seen the Anthony Davis when he pulled it down with one arm. That animation is back, of course. But um, they also have ones where, like, when you grab it, you can kind of put the ball together with both hands as you're bringing it down. So, you know, that that's back. Uh, what else? What was the last thing? Um, somebody said, what what was it? Um, volleyball cheese, the animation cheese, and the o offensive overpower. Yeah, so if you're playing a CPU, right? And, you know, you're like, oh, my God, the CPU got, like, 11 rebounds, and they're all offensive, and it's only the first quarter. That kind of has dropped, trust me. Um, It's more balanced, and it's kind of more like if the offensive player is not a player that excels in offensive rebounds, he's not really going to get the offensive rebound because those players that excel in offensive rebounding – always have great position, great strength, great base, and you know their badges will help them. But for other guys, if you're if you're out of position, you're out of position. Um as well as you know the, those animations where players can get thrown down, you know, on uh while grabbing a rebound like everybody say Anthony Davis try to box out Tyson Chandler, he was like, "Get out of here, young boy. I've been doing this way longer than you." So um, those things are in there, but um, I say that um, rebounding is a pro for the defense because when you're actually on defense and you have your POE say crash the defensive boards, your players will actually go to the paint, box out, fight for the rebound, even if it's a little volleyball cheese for a moment, you know, where it's tip tap and then somebody grabs the board. Usually the defense come out with the board, but what I will have to say is if an offensive player grabs a rebound, right, there is no more like he automatically takes it back up for an amazing stand-up dunk or he does like a turnaround, like layup in the paint, like off two feet. Is You know, remember that rear animation, like offensive player grab a rebound and you would jump for a block, but he'll freaking turn and then throw it back up. You'd be like, what the f That's out of there. So, you know, when a player gets the rebound, you know, he has to go back up with it. So the defensive player has time to actually get back on defense to try to get a block. Um, but if, like, a player gets a rebound 
offensive player and he's not CPU and he kind of like moves over to one side, he can kind of like get the layup on the other side or get a dunk on the other side. But, you know, that's just how it is. But um, I hope you guys like the pros of this uh, defensive side of the ball in NBA 2K15. Uh, this is IKC signing out. Make sure you like the video. Once we reach 1,000 likes, I will upload the cons. What else I need y'all to do? Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And be safe. Peace. Yeah.